Welcome to episode 41 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. Today, I will show you how I generate photorealistic images that look like real photos using Comfy UI. I have been searching for a model that lets me create realistic images, and today I found one that is getting close to what I want. It's called Fluxmania version 5, and it was made available for download today when I recorded this video. This model is created by merging different checkpoints based on the Flux Dev model. So in theory, it should be a little better than the original Flux Dev. It has two models, one that includes Clip, VAE, and all that, which is usually used by people who use Forge UI, and the other is the smaller FP8 version, which doesn't include Clip and VAE. I'll use this smaller version and add the models that work best for my system. Open Comfy UI, and from the Workflows menu, you can open one of these workflows. I will add them to Discord for free, as always. It's a simple workflow, and I've included everything you need to get started in this note. To begin, click here to download the model. In the Models folder, go to the Diffusion Models folder and place the model there, as shown in the instructions. Do the same for the T5 model and place it in the Clip folder. I'm using an alternative Clip L model here, which is supposed to be a little better than Clip L. Of course, you should already have the Flux VAE if you've used Flux before. There's only one custom node to avoid errors. So go to the manager, then custom node manager, search for easy use and install that node. After that, restart Comfy UI. Once you've added the models and the node, you should be able to see the Fluxmania model in the load diffusion model section and the clip models in the dual clip loader. Now you can add your prompt, set the image size, and run the workflow. What makes it realistic is the prompt and the model, which seems to be trained on more realistic images. I also added a clear VRAM node here because sometimes after running Flux a few times, it might get stuck. This node helps it run more smoothly, and this is the result. Pretty realistic, isn't it? If the workflow works well for you, you can also try a compact version of this workflow. I added the word compact in the workflow name. It's the same workflow. I just merged the nodes into one to make it easier to work with. You just add the prompt and the image dimensions and you can start generating. For prompts, I like to use ChatGPT, but you can probably use any LLM similar to ChatGPT. I created this formula, which I will add to Discord but you can adjust it to fit your needs. You can do it without the formula. Sometimes I just give it an example prompt and ask for something similar in structure. Here's how I do it. I copy this formula, paste it into ChatGPT and press enter. It will already start generating a random prompt for me. Then I just ask for what I want, like a photo of an old man and I get this prompt. You can select and copy the prompt or you can click the copy button. Then in Comfy UI, paste the prompt and run the workflow. The result is this man. Looks realistic enough to me. Let's test a different type of photo, like a photo of a burger. Notice how the camera and lens adapt for the type of photo I want to generate. Let's test it. It looks realistic, but I want a different type of light. Here, I asked for something rustic with morning light and I got a breakfast image, so it took the words literally. But I had in mind a burger in a rustic environment, so I mentioned that to ChatGPT and let's test it again. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, let me generate another version. This one looks delicious. You can see the size of the image I got here as Flux generates better images around this size. But what if I want a bigger image? How do I upscale it? Um, I will use this workflow to upscale it. This one uses the Flux DevGuff model. I tried to use the same Fluxmania model like in the previous example, but I got some vertical bands when I used it with the upscaler. So I had to use the original Flux Dev for the upscaler to reduce those vertical bands. You have everything you need here, what model and nodes I used in this workflow. So let's test it with the burger. I'll go ahead and copy the burger image from the previous workflow. Then select the load image node and use control plus V to paste it, or you can load the image from the output folder. After that, you can use the same prompt if you want, or you can use a new prompt. Sometimes I just use the word masterpiece. I will paste the prompt here and run the workflow. Flux is scaling down the image so it can work better with it since Flux can generate images of a maximum of two megapixels. For denoise, you can use values between 0.7 and 0.95. Most of the time, I just use 0.9 for denoise. It will generate two upscaled images and you can compare the original with the first upscale or the first upscale with the second upscaled image. 
for example, you can compare the before and after of the previous upscale I did with this woman. Once the upscale for the burger is done, you can see that if you use a square image, the first upscale will have this size. If I compare it, it's much sharper and more detailed. So in this case, the upscale worked great. If something is off, you can generate it again or change the denoise value. The second upscale is much bigger in size. And if I compare, not only is it larger, but it's also a little sharper. Sometimes it can be too sharp, but you can always use the first upscale if something is wrong with the second one. Let's test with some architecture photos, maybe for a modern house with a pool and a palm tree. It uses a different camera in the prompt with a wide lens, so it thinks like a photographer. Let's test it. And I got this nice photo of the house, just like I asked. Be as detailed as you want when describing how everything looks, the colors, materials, lighting, uh, to get better results. Let me try something different now. Maybe a robot, something more futuristic, to see if I still get a realistic result or if it tries to make it an illustration. The prompt looks good. And this is the result so far. It looks great. What else can we test? Um, maybe a, a macro photo of a steampunk flower. It's interesting how it combined a real flower with steampunk, but I want it to look more futuristic. So let's ask for the flower to be made from bronze instead. And look at that. It's made from metal. It's futuristic, but also looks real. So the model is pretty good. It's still not perfect though. Sometimes I get a subtle vertical bar on the right. And when I add another K sampler to do the upscale, the vertical bars become more noticeable than on the original Flux, which had this problem since it was released. That's all for today. If you found something useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. You can also support the channel by joining the membership, just like the Legends, VIPs, and other awesome members have. A big thank you to all of you. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on Discord.